How's it going, fish folk? Those of you all new to the channel, my name, behind camera here, is Austin, and this is Fantastic Freaks, and these are my two 75-gallon aquariums, which can only mean one thing. Yes, we are continuing the tank tours here, or the aquarium spotlights, whatever you want to call it, here for part two, where today we're going to be visiting not one, but two aquariums. And namely, my two 75s. Before we dive deeper here, the 75 on the top here, of course, a lot of you may already be familiar with because just a couple or a few weeks ago, we uh, put its new inhabitants in this aquarium. Of course, this is home to my green spotted puffers, five of them total here in that 75 gallon tank on the top here. And down here, uh, this is the first time actually that I'm uh, showing this aquarium with its new occupant in there. I'm sure as some people look in here, they're like, um, uh, where's the fish? But first, let's go ahead and visit our five little puffers up here. So obviously, whatever you've been watching my channel here now for just a few weeks, or a year or two at this point, this tank should look pretty familiar because just a few weeks ago, we moved these five green spotted puffers from a 20 gallon long to their new 75 gallon tank here. And I know a big question that some people are gonna be asking, especially when it comes to green spotted puffers, am I keeping them in fresh water or brackish water? One of those of you that weren't there for that video, this is one of my two brackish water aquariums. It's also the biggest brackish water aquarium I have currently right now. I have another brackish water aquarium in here, but we'll visit that one in a later video. But ever since the move, this is what they've been doing. They've just been uh, exploring a new tank, loving the space here, and you can kind of see their colors slowly starting to get more and more vibrant. And if you look at them compared to the last time, they've had a little bit of a growth spurt since, haven't they? These guys can reach up to about six inches, so even as so, this 75 gallon tank will be plenty of space for these five. Um, they've been getting along just fine in here. They get fed a wide array of uh, meaty foods, blood worms, krill, beef heart, amongst other things. Snails, of course, too. And yeah, they love uh, swimming up here towards the front. They're swimming towards the front right now because with me being right in front of the glass, they're probably thinking it's getting close to feeding time. And as a matter of fact, it is. Today's menu, Beef heart. So that, those of you might be wondering, other than the cute, adorable uh, eyes and the puppy dog-like uh, personality, what's another reason to get a little shoal of puffers like green spot puffers here? Well, let me show you another reason. Look at how they just attack that thing right off the bat, huh? Is that not one of the funniest things you've seen? Really cool, too. What you doing, dude? You're missing the feast. Bye, have a great time. Your friends are gonna get all the food. Wow. Oh, there you go, he found it. They're kind of fun to watch eat, especially if you got a shoal of puffers like this. A bee part is one thing I feed these guys. I also give them blood worms occasionally, as well as snails and shrimp, among other things. It's important, of course, like all other puffers, to give a uh, hard shell foods like snails and other crustaceans because it's uh, a key thing to help grind down their teeth, which continuously grow. And of course, if their teeth get too big, it can cause health problems, including a uh, problem with them being able to eat, which uh, leads to all sorts of other obvious problems. Oh yeah, they're not as squirrely now. They're nice, full, they're looking plump as a good, healthy puffer should. These uh, green spotted puffers have been really enjoying the 75 here. I am planning to do a care guide on them later, because I know a couple of you have asked for that. But yes, as you can see from compared to the last time we saw these guys when they first got moved in their 75, uh, about three weeks ago from the time I record this, they're doing well. And I mean, it's a 55 gallon upgrade from what they were in earlier. And I think they make this 75 gallon tank look really good and they should for a long time yet. But of course we have another 75 gallon tank right down here. All I see is logs, sand, and water. And I guess when you look at the sponge filter, I also see bubbles. Well, let's go ahead and zoom in on our little aquatic friends location, shall we? It's kind of like looking at a shadow, but hiding in that log is about a 15 inch tiger knife fish. Much like the black ghost knife though, the reason why this guy is hiding is, well, just like the black ghost knife or a lot of knife fish, this is mostly a nocturnal fish. So when the light is on, and his tank is all bright, like such. This is traditionally what he does. He finds a place and he just chills out. Either that log, that log. Sometimes he's even creative and finds a spot somewhere in there. 
or his favorite spot, which I'm kind of honestly surprised we still don't see him in, his little tree rut area here. And see, this is what I'm talking about. When he does come out to move, this is basically all he does. He comes out and finds another hiding place. And like a few other knife fish, including the black ghost knife, which I mentioned earlier, this guy will max out around 16 inches. Black ghost knives can reach more around the 18 to 20 inch range, but this tiger knife on the other hand, give or take will max out around 16 inches. He's uh, about 14 right now, so might get another uh, inch or two at most, and that's about it. And oh, there he goes again. I mean, isn't that bottom fin just absolutely amazing? And look at the pattern on him. I mean, like I say, when you look at his pattern, you don't have to think too hard about why he's called a tiger knife, because boy, that coloration in the pattern, I mean, it looks exactly like a tiger, right? Some of you might also be wondering, why is he by himself in the 75? Well, like a lot of other knife fish out there, tiger knives are no different in terms of they are very predatorial. And even if they can't fit them in their mouth, they can be also a pretty territorial fish, Hence why, yes, he has this 75 gallon tank to himself. He's thinking, I can't wait for you to go away and turn my light off. All right, buddy, we'll leave you alone. And that, guys, is a little showcase of my two 75 gallon aquariums. Obviously, a uh, little difference in fish and personality for sure, as uh, the puffers definitely don't mind making their presence known, whereas, of course, the tiger knife down here is, uh, well, quite the opposite. <laughs> Which tank do you like better? Let me know in the comments below here. If you're new to the channel and have not done so already, feel free to click that subscribe button. We're going to have uh, plenty more aquariums here to show here yet. Uh, maybe down in the comments also, let me know. Which one do you want to see next? Do you want to see our 38 with uh, Amazon puffers? Or maybe we should give the Exodons a visit. Of course, we still got the queen of the fish room, Finley, right over there. Chilling in her little nook there. Boy, from back here, too, you can kind of see how big she is, too, ain't it? <laughs> I mean, the 46, of course, right here, we have the angelfish. I mean, all sorts of tanks here you get to see, as well as my other brackish aquarium. Let me know in the comments below what tank do you want to see next. But that'll do it for part two here, guys. As always, thank you so much for all the support and watching this video. I will see you all in my next video, Fish Fam. As always, stay fantastic. Mm -hmm.